Welcome to the Bridal Path, one of Canada's wealthiest neighborhoods and home to many celebrities over the years such as Drake, Celine Dion, Elton John, and Prince, to name a few. This massive 30,000 square foot French chateau style mansion was valued at around $40 million when it was listed in 2014, making it one of the most expensive homes in Canada. It was originally built in 1985 for a real estate developer. He only owned it for a short period of time and was forced to sell it due to a downturn in the economy. In 2002, the home was purchased and for the next several years was restored by the new owners. The mansion features 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a massive indoor pool with a retractable floor allowing it to become a ballroom, a library, a tennis court, several wood-burning fireplaces, a recording studio, a 40-car garage, and a bomb shelter. Over the years, the house has played guests to many famous people such as Jane Fonda and former Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau. The mansion has also been used in multiple films such as It Takes Two starring the Olsen twins. In 2020, the home was purchased and sat vacant for the next few years. Fast forward to a few months ago, demolition crews were on site and this beautiful piece of architecture was demolished. The plan now is to build a home that's three times larger at 90,000 square foot. To do this, the neighboring empty lot was purchased and will be merged into this property. Join me for a look at how the rich live. Today, we are exploring an abandoned $40 million billionaire's mansion. You can see the excavator is right behind me. This place is going to be demolished real soon. Um, this place is absolutely incredible. I think you're going to love it. So, without further ado, let's get into this explorer and see what we can find. Walking up this driveway, you can see there's a bunch of tree protection and stuff like that. Got a beautiful fountain. And we have this massive, and I mean massive, abandoned chateau style house. Never seen anything like this in my life. Absolutely gorgeous. You got a gorgeous fountain at the front here. But you can just see excavators already here. And this poor French chateau is just got his days numbered. So right here is the front entrance, and look at that door. Even when you look up, look at how detailed and like ornate the ceiling is in here. This place is absolutely huge. <laughs> so we got a bathroom in here. It's like a 90s, like, it's like an 80s or 90s, like pink marble. Handles on the doors are even ornate, man. Like, holy. There's no expense spared here. Holy, there's two bathrooms right beside each other. <laughs> oh, you rich, rich. Oh, man. It's like a men's and women's bathroom in this house. Holy Jesus. So we're going over here, guys. Wow, look at this. Holy. Here's my thing. I don't know what any of these rooms are even for. But I know the ceilings are just incredible in this place. Like even the flooring is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so coming out of the front, the front area, this is their front foyer. And you guys, like, look at this. Like, holy. This is huge. What is happening? Like, you know you're rich when you got a fireplace in your front foyer. Got this magnificent staircase, man. Like, that's ridiculous. 
Oh my god. I don't know what this is, if this is marble or whatever, but my goodness, is that ever interesting pattern to have. Like these hallways, like the ceilings and stuff, they're so tall. It's just insane. Would have been like a study or something in here. Wow. It's just insane. Just insane, guys. Look at like the detail work in the fireplaces and stuff. Like, look at that. Just unreal. The fact that this is being demolished is just insane to me. Look at this. Whoa. Yo, that's hand painted on the wall. Wow. It's like walking into a whole different world stepping into here. There's just so much detail everywhere. Wow. There's your better view of the uh Excavator sitting right up front there. That's just insane. Cartier. Oh man. We gotta finish this first floor, but like, this is just absolutely incredible, the work that somebody did here in painting this. I even noticed the sky painted on the ceiling. Now, I do know that this goes into the pool, but it's padlocked, so we'll have to find a different way in there. Can probably get there going downstairs, but I want to finish the upper level first before doing that. Like they even painted the door arches like up there. That's amazing. Like this foyer is just insane. <laughs> Holy, how many, every room has a fireplace, apparently. It's a big TV. The TV is even elite. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The mantle on this fireplace. Holy, holy shit, man. Absolutely stunning. Like the detail up there too. Like, oh my goodness. Every room has like that style on the uh, upper part. Oh my God, look at how pink it is in here. This is like a ballroom, holy.
I've never seen anything like this in my life. Big the ceiling roses. Incredible. Oh man, and then the natural light comes in here. Ooh, that is nuts. Like the doors like are like 16 feet tall. If I've ever seen an extravagant mansion, this is it. This is stuck in a certain era but it's still very, like, it's a time capsule of what it once was. It's too outdated now, I guess. So that's why they're demolishing it, and they're going to build something even bigger, which is just insane to think about. <laughs> okay, their kitchen's bigger than most houses, that's fine. Wow. I really wonder how often in this $40 million mansion that whoever owned it actually, <laughs> actually, you know, cooked for themselves. Two Bosch stoves. Microwave. The countertop they have. I'll have to look it up. I'm not sure how many bathrooms are actually in here. Where do these go? Four car garage. Nothing in here, but huge. Oh my goodness, they have an elevator. Look at that. <laughs> That's nuts. Wow. I just noticed something too. They got a security system, and they have a TV built into the wall to monitor it. That's nuts. <laughs> Wow, just look at this. Huge. This staircase is absolutely insane. Like the spindles and stuff going up this is just wild. Holy, look at this. This foyer is just mental. It would have had a massive chandelier there and a ceiling rose to top it off. Bro, is this just a bedroom? It is. Holy. It's very, it's like magical because of the vines and stuff here growing. 
Wow. Look at the detail on the sink here. Look at this. What? Just the whole counter itself is just wild. And it's like inlaid with gold. Wow. It's a golden shower head. <laughs> Incredible. Absolute unit of a master closet. Actually, it's not as big as I thought it would be for a house this size. Wow. It's such a large staircase too, it's just wild. <laughs> what is this room for? Pretty stunning as well. This one's even got corner details right in the corner up here. Beautiful, beautiful work. Like even the banister, like the railing here, look at the detail that's been put into this. Is that not insane to think about? Like just this banister here probably costs more than most people's houses. This is another bedroom. Wow. What's in there? Oh, this would have gone over the bed. <laughs> That's nuts. So I would have carpet over your bed at nighttime. It's very Victorian like to me. It's a bit older of a shower in here. Guys, I'm amazed by this place. This place is, holy Jesus, it's so big. It has so much stuff, so many rooms. It's a lot of dead space. I would have thought there would have been maybe more color, but holy, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Wow. What's in here? Oh my God, it goes all over the place. This had to have been the master. There's no way this isn't. And if this isn't, then oh my goodness. Look at all the built-in, still smells like cologne. Still smells like success up here. It's like a nice little sitting and reading area. This had to have been the, <laughs> yeah, this is the master. It's kind of weird, it's like sunken here, and then it raises up, but look at this. This was obviously the person's wife's master closet right here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Holy. The bulbs and everything on here, that's insane. So this is how the rich live, eh? <laughs> Their bathroom is insane. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. That would have been so nice probably to get ready in front of. Keeping that clean would have been fun. Man, guys, this is insane.
master bath. Oh my God, look at the stained glass. Of course, they got the bidet. Get yourself a bidet, it'll change your life. Um, the golden claw foot tub. But this, guys, this is everything. When the right light hits this, you know how beautiful it would be in here? You can also overlook your entire garden, which is, it's like something out of Alice in Wonderland, which is pretty wild. But look at this. That's incredible. Never seen anything like that before either. They literally have an archway, that's how big it is, oh my gosh. Even the shower is interesting. They got fancy light switches for this way. <laughs> So this was their master bedroom. It's actually pretty modest in comparison to some of the things in this house. But they probably just realize it's just a place to sleep. So why go overkill? Rather have better and more interesting amenities. Okay, so we left the master. We got another bathroom. Look at the... Look at how fancy it is. It still smells nice in here. That's the wild part to me. Look at the marble that they used. This probably cost you a fortune. It's over here. This is a very big cedar closet. Probably one of the bigger ones I've seen. Oh, geez, it goes far down. Did they really have that much stuff they were worried about? Just the real question. I feel like this is a room just to have a room. What's the, oh my God, this is an indoor pool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew they had a pool, I didn't think it was like this. Look at this. Holy shit. Bro, it's like a full public swimming pool in here. Look at the staircase. That's what we came down. Look at the beams. That's just incredible. Wow. And the pool still has water in it. It's one of the biggest features in the house. That's just nuts. Wow. This would have been difficult to maintain. Indoor pools usually never go well. So they had somebody maintaining this all the time. The fact that there's like, like, st like stone built into this is just wild. Oh my gosh.
This would have been such a vibe too with the sconces like this. What is this? This looks like something you'd boil yourself in. It's probably like a hot tub or something, but like, what is this? What the hell is this? Aerotone bath. What is this for? This looks like it's industrial. This looks like it would hurt you. Oh my goodness. Sit down and look, I'm gone. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know if this is. Like, I don't even really like swimming that much, but like, this would be so cool to have at your house. You could have just parties, you could do whatever you wanted can't fathom somebody having this much money and being able to afford all this. It's just, it's insane to me. Okay, well back up the uh, spiral staircase we go. Give you one last look from up here. Absolutely insane. It's like an, it's not an Olympic sized pool, but it's a very big pool. Okay. Let's go to the other side, see what we can find. Okay, so, very bright room. This place was probably like 20 freaking bathrooms, 20 beds. <laughs> Doesn't even surprise me at this point. Everything's so fancy in here. Except for, this is very, like 50s looking almost. I like this, this is cool. <laughs> Seems like this wasn't renovated very uh, ever. <laughs> Look at this. Look how interesting that looks. Wow. Got the green marble. Only marble, nothing else for this home. Imagine saying that to somebody. These doors are even heavy. So there's a third level. <laughs> the elevator can get you up to here. We haven't even gone downstairs, let alone going up here. We got some carpet, that's funny. Basically the whole house has been like hardwood and stuff like that. There's some decay. Barely any, but there's some. Okay, so that's where the staircase from downstairs that we saw takes us. It's up here, so I don't have to go back down there. What this room was used for is beyond me. Could be a bedroom, could be a playroom, could be anything. There's so many rooms in here you can't tell. I'm gonna assume bedroom now that I've seen this. What is this, number 10 for the washrooms? Do they really have a TV in there? Yeah, 
They had a TV or some sort of something up there. Maybe this is a studio. It looks like a recording sign. This house isn't even in bad shape. How do you open this? I don't know. Okay, let's go up these stairs. Massive up here too. And the elevator goes up there. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Huh. Here's some hardwood. All oh, these windows are open. It's kind of weird. Such a beautiful property they had. Wow. Again, this fireplace, the detail is just incredible. It's like next to nothing. This is all wood too, I believe, this one. Yep. Wow. Oh, of course, yeah, why not? Here's another bathroom. This is weird. Look at it, it's like raised. <laughs> it's like they themed each of the washrooms, man. That's so weird. It like actually bumps out. It's interesting, but it's weird. Gotta go this way. Look at how big the hall is for no apparent reason. I just can't imagine needing this many rooms for anything. Like, unless you had multiple, like, families almost living in somewhere like this. Doesn't make sense. There is such thing in my mind as too much space, and this house is a very good example of that. This is weird that they have HVAC and stuff just in here. Where's this go? The depths of the house. Nope. It's just the attic.
Okay, I guess we're gonna go back down. We're gonna go all the way down. Take the back entrance. Smells weird down here. Oh god, it's like a maze. Oh no. See your closet. Bunch of built ins. Holy, that's a big wine cellar. Wow. 1984 Chardonnay. Look at this though. This is how much food that this place was eating. That they had, oh, stinks in there. Freeze it like that. I like that this is the first laundry room they put it in the basement and they got two machines and two dryers. They're old. They're tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna finish filming and then you can show me. I'm, gonna, like, I'm pretty much done down here. If you wanna hang out and show me, I'm just gonna go, what is this? Why are there so many do doors? Is it, it's just all storage? All storage. Why, that's so weird. Oh my god, it goes everywhere. What is this? What is this? Did you see this metal bar across this? Yeah, but I didn't do it. I thought it was just stuck. Ah, uh, it just goes outside. Yeah, there's been two other doors that both led outside. So this is just like a huge storage room. Like glasses, Royal Dalton dishes would have gone in here. Just Royal Dalton dishes. <laughs> so this is their, this is like their collectible. What is here? Um, what in the hell? It's so thick. Was this a bomb shelter? Whoa. It's like a secret bunker. What in the hell? Yo, this is crazy. Look at this door. Jesus. This was definitely like a bomb shelter. Yeah. The size of that door, holy. Or a nuclear shelter, whatever. This is wild. They had like heater or a dehumidifier must have flooded or something in here at one point. And wait till you see the hot cold. What is this? You got a washroom, shower. All the water, like these are tanks of just, what, like reserved water? Seems like it. Mm -hmm. A little shower. Weird. Look down there. In that hole. What hole? Right here. What the hell? It goes down under the street. You could get out in the sewer. Nah. I just want to crawl down, man. I'm so... Look at that. I'm not crawling down that, but holy. That's insane. What the hell? Awesome. 
They even have like a light here. <laughs> That's nutty. Yeah. I'm just going to uh, bomb shelter so or a panic room or something like that. Like that's oh, pretty insane. I don't even know what to say. Okay, well. We're in the catacombs of the house at this point. Oh, but there's still bathrooms down here. What is this? Yo, it's a recording studio. Bro. What? The sound installation's insane in here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's just like deathly quiet. Like you go, whoo, nothing. What? As soon as you walk out. Get all the ambient noise. That's weird. What's in here? Bunch of copper pipes for a bunch of boilers, I guess, that they had. These two vacuums. There's water in here. Big cage. The wiring in this house is just insane. It needs so much power, probably. Wow. Big old safe. Huh. This room with the exposed beams. Stunning little bar, not even little, a huge bar down here. The size of this wooden beam is insane. Like my hand is... Look at that. My goodness. And this bar. Ooh. This is like the style of house I'd want. It's like this wooden look to it. Like there's even stained glass up in there. Like really? Man, it must be nice to have money. Look at that cool that is. Wow. I love that. Imagine entertaining here. You know how cool that would be? I have like no words for this house. It's just stunning, this place. Oh my god, they even had it so like the it would fold over and the door could close. Oh. And then like the nice wooden beam in the fireplace. That's cool. Was this the fire cover? Man, this is like a dream mansion. This is just so cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alrighty guys, so here's some side rooms here. I believe this is getting close to the end of the Explorer. It has to be, I would think. Had some pretty significant water damage up in here. It is a basement, so it doesn't really surprise me. But these rooms are just stunning. It's like changing rooms, this is what it looks like. There's two of them. Yeah, the water's damage is pretty bad there. Oh, okay, this makes more sense now. Okay, I get why there's changing rooms. So we got your bathroom here. And you got a sauna in here. 
So you would sauna, you could change into your clothing or get out of your clothing, whatever you want to do in the sauna. Then after that, you know, if you need to go to the bathroom, you go there. And then you want to take a shower after being all sweaty, hop in right here. Man, they had everything here. That's insane. <laughs> Where does this lead? Back up to the France room. Okay. What is this? It's like a weird loading dock. goes for a pretty long time. Okay. Some wood. Maybe this was used for like performances or something. It was known that this house hosted a lot of parties, so kind of wouldn't be surprised. Oh, we're under the pool. And that's that weird tub thing that I was in. So this curve is for the pool. That's what I'm seeing. I don't like that. <laughs> so I understand what this room is for now. So this, it's meant to make you feel like you're walking France, I think. You walk downstairs to like a back alley bar in France. Right? And then when you walk in here, Absolutely epic bar. We're gonna check some of the backyard. There are other houses around here, obviously, so we don't wanna get uh, too close to anybody's place. But this is just a beautiful chateau style house. It's like a little paradise. These would have been beautifully manicured gardens. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. It's just overgrown but it's still kind of manicured. Thank you so much for joining me on this explore of this massive billionaire's $40 million mansion. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.